Welcome to the Beaten Path. We are here in LA's fashion district on the search for an LA classic, the bacon wrapped hot dog. Sometimes known as the danger dog, sometimes known as a heart attack dog. These should be pretty easy to find all throughout the city, but especially here in the fashion district. So there are actually two types of vendors that sell the LA hot dog. One of them is permitted by the LA Health Department. Uh, it's like this, it's actually got like a stand and goes by all the health department rules. The other one is kind of like a, a bottom class of vendor, which is just powered by, it's like a little cart that's powered by a propane tank. Uh, those are actually illegal and there are many cases of those type of vendors being taken into jail or having all their equipment confiscated. So that one's a lot more controversial. All right, we're here. We're gonna grab two hot dogs uh, and get a close-up of what what's going on on this car. Oh, that. What's the first one? Uh, the hot dogs. Hot dogs, six dollars. Six dollars. Yeah. Well, uh, me puede dar dos. Sí. I'm gonna get con todo with everything. Yeah. I work at a school and all the kids speak Spanish. Con todo. Sí, quiero uno con todo y otro sin nada. I'm I'm pretty sure all the kids when they see this video are gonna be laughing at my Spanish. So we found our hot dog, a little closer description, we can see that it has um, avocado, cilantro, onions, mayo, mustard, ketchup, and obviously the hot dog is wrapped in some, some tasty bacon. So I've had it before, but let's pretend this is my first bite of a bacon wrapped hot dog. The bacon isn't really crispy, but it adds a lot of bacon-y flavor. Um, the tomatoes make it real fresh. Avocado adds a nice, nice flavor also. The onions are kind of sweet, which is always really good. The bread is nice and soft. And I think really my favorite part about these hot dogs is how affordable these are. It was $3 and it's a really classic meal. I remember the first time I showed some of my coworkers this hot dog, they were like blown away by its uniqueness and, and its affordability. So before that, I didn't really realize that this isn't the common thing anywhere else. They were from e the East Coast and they were like super psyched to eat these hot dogs. It was like a really authentic cultural experience for them. <laughs> 